um, I do feel for a lot of you, you're getting like sucked back in into a possibly, you know, codependent, toxic environment and you don't really need that. I do feel as well, what's crowning you here is the Nine of Swords, okay? The Nine of Swords indicates sleepless nights. When I do readings for clients and this card shows up, it usually indicates like not only is somebody not getting enough sleep, but they might be dealing with mild depression. It could be seasonal depression. It could just be full-blown depression. And interestingly, the, um, you know, the, the, what, the fall equinox? is coming as well. For those of you suffering from seasonal depression, I do feel with the Wheel of Fortune, it's also a situation where it's like cyclical. You know, the seasons change, the phases of the moons change, the rotation of the earth shifts. So it's just the axis, actually. Um, it's just like it, seasonally, this might be something that you're experiencing. So for example, what I'm getting is this, and I feel like I'm getting this for a lot of Pisces. You know, in the summertime, you're actually very happy and then the cold night starts coming with um, the fall and winter and you're just like, how am I going to make it on my own? You might be living in an environment where, you know, you're, you're a farmer, for example, and you're relying on um, the seasons in order to get by and with autumn and winter approaching. I know this sounds very archaic, but people actually deal with this. So... Um, with the the coming spring uh, excuse me fall and winter you're thinking to yourself like how am I going to get through this winter and then the person from your past that you try really really hard to escape from is coaxing you back in and they're feeding you this sob story as if you know it's a mutually beneficial relationship you can't cope over the winter I can't cope either for whatever reason emotionally or financially let's just help one another out don't get sucked back into that sob story. There is definitely false communication coming through that you want to be careful about, okay, in general. Yeah, I do feel that with the um, Eight of Coins in the reverse, I do feel like it was a financially codependent type of relationship as well. Emotionally, yes, but also financially. So because of it, you have a lot of anxieties, a lot of fears, a lot of... Um, a lot of worries about how you're going to make able to make it how you're going to be able to conjure these pentacles from this little melting cauldron or this boiling cauldron you're trying to see what's the best way that you can manifest material abundance in your life in order for you to be self-sufficient in order for you to not have to go back to this situation okay so what i'm sensing here is for a lot of you you might have recently left a job and you're kind of like in panic mode because a new job is not coming through and all of a sudden around Mercury in retrograde like after the 17th of September you're getting like a, a message where someone is like oh let's I have a job offer for you and it's going to pay really really well if it sounds too good to be true it probably is okay I, I feel like 100% it definitely is because you can't really conjure pentacles out of a pot. You really have to work hard for your money. So don't get sucked in by these, you know, false advertisements and especially with people who are feeding on your insecurities in order to get you to do what they want. So just be very careful, Pisces. Protect yourself. You're in a really good place right now. So don't um, cycle back to that, that you know, um, that mentality that got you stuck in the previous situation to begin with, okay? Don't think negative. I do feel abundance coming through, so just be careful. In terms of your um, advice here, we do have the hangman in the reverse position. So I'm going to pull out the rest of this side in order to see what's coming through. Three of cups, nine of coins, six of cups reverse, page of coins, and the tower in the reverse position. Okay, so the advice here is um, this period of limbo where you're kind of like, um, okay, so what I'm sensing here is I keep emphasizing the fact that um, the message that was coming through is you're in a safe place. Nothing can go wrong. Okay, so make a decision is what I'm, I'm getting here with the hangman in the reverse position. I do feel that there has been a massive paradigm shift for a lot of you. And I do feel for a lot of Pisces, you have such a good heart and you, you willingly stay in bad relationships because 
you feel bad for the other person or you willingly put yourself in situations where um, you're taking on the burdens of other people because you don't want to deal with with the worries and the anxieties okay you have to realize that people are a lot stronger than than they 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 than they seem you have to also detach yourself and know that um, don't play martyr is basically what I'm sensing people can take care of themselves but in the process of you trying to take care of everything you're enabling them first of all and additionally there is no honor in martyrdom honestly I, I do feel that when it comes to people and their life lessons you want to you really need to extract yourself from other people and their problems because people have to learn their lessons on their own okay so that's what you've been doing in the past and I do feel there is definitely definitely a shift in the way that you are conducting yourself in the future especially when it pertains to like toxic uh, relationships or toxic toxic environments you're first of all not going to fall victim and you're not going to put yourself in toxic environment or codependent relationships additionally um, you're going to heed the warning signs when those red flags show up you're going to be out of there so you're not going to get yourself emotionally too invested where you can't really extract yourself or you lose your sense of perspective so a lot of you are in a really good mind space right now so nothing is going to go wrong don't get sucked back in the past we have six of cups reverse which is indicative of the blast from the past and um, possibly you know there might be a health scare with the person from the past they're reaching out to you it's not your problem don't don't get sucked in okay you're in a good place right now and additionally I do feel for a lot of you financial worries and financial assets financial entanglements are why you can't really move on okay and um, I do sense that you know you're in a safe place yes but you're thinking or you're tempted about moving back mainly because financially you're lacking that foundation so financial gains are definitely coming in you're starting a new project you're starting new jobs there is new employment opportunities coming through for you and even if it's mercury in retrograde and you know that oh don't take a job during mercury in retrograde if you're in dire strait financially you have to take that job so don't put your life on hold on account of fears okay so even as I'm telling you mercury in retrograde if you take a job is not a good idea if you need a job and if you need that financial you know cushion in order to get you through the next month the next two weeks just take it just keep in mind that it might be temporary and you know if you want to you can say they're long term I do feel that for a lot of people taking jobs in mercury and retrograde they tend to be underemployed or the terms of the contract was never clearly explained and they face a lot of frustration but a lot of frustration on a work front is still better than you know being in like being strapped for cash and not taking this job offer mainly because you don't want um, to have to change residence or, or change a new job environment so prioritize know what's really important if you need the money in order to take care of yourself in order to sustain the new haven that you um, you've worked really hard to create the money comes first okay so just take that job if you need to there's no worries about this I do feel you are going to be protected so don't worry the only thing I'm sensing here is you know that paradigm shift was the only thing honestly keeping you from enjoying your life so the paradigm shift has already happened so there's only forward movement from now so you don't really have to worry about anything in terms of your external environment we have the three of cups which indicates to me celebration it indicates to me like um, you know that that culmination things coming together getting a lot of support from those around you getting a lot of um, if for those of you who are th you know landing that new job or thinking about a new job or thinking about what's the best route for you to take in terms of work I would say look into the hospitality industry these two cards usually come out together when I do uh, readings uh, for people in the hospitality industry too so that's possibly where you're going to find like stable work or at least work that pays pays enough 
where you don't have to worry, okay? But either way, there is a very nice celebratory energy surrounding you. And I do feel the people here are definitely sincere. These are friends. These are people from all walks of life because when you look at them, there's an insect and these are like different species. They're all different di different heights, excuse me. But they all get along because they all have like a, a commonality, you know, like a certain life moment certain life experiences in common so even though they might not agree with one another there's still definitely a process or a, a situation where they have enough in common where they can understand one another on a very deep on a very personal level despite their differences okay so it's um it's really really fruitful for those of you who are dealing with like um fire sign in a romantic setting i do sense that you want to be a little bit careful okay for those of you dealing fire signs are leo sagittarius um leo sagittarius um aries i do sense there's going to be dash hopes basically like flaky energy coming through which is not going to be conducive for romance long term so you want to be a little bit careful one person should not put in all the work and if something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. You want to be careful about wearing those rose-colored glasses and approaching life in a very, you know, naive, but also like too open-hearted of a way, okay? And I know that sounds bad, but you want to be realistic here. For those of you who are dealing with earth signs, this is um, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I do feel that um, there is a very, very good possibly even reconciliation with this earth sign, they are going to be able to uh, provide a lot of support for you. And I do sense there is possibly, you know, this earth sign can be a romantic partner. I do feel as well, you know, three of cups indicates, you know, like a big gathering celebration. There is possibly a celebration coming through for the second half of this month where you might meet these two potential partners, earth and fire, and be careful with the fire. I do feel that you want to be with whoever it is that is um, very, whoever it is, I feel like you're, you're at the point now where you know the red flags and the warning signs, and you're a good judge of character um, at heart, Pisces. Are very are a very good judge of character you overlook a lot but you you know people you you know who you can trust but you do overlook a lot so just be careful be discerning okay and I do sense that um, there is somebody that is going to hype up you know all these job prospects you want to avoid that whoever it is that um, instead of talking about a gazillion job potential coming through for you if they're just talking about one thing that's the person that is more solid that has a lot more options that you want to actually proceed with on the work front even on on the love front because that's where it's going to be good for you okay i do feel a blast from the past possibly with a fire sign i do feel um a person from your past not in a romantic way but you know somebody that you're related to in the past um, is coming through possibly offering a new job and it, they're only coming up with like one proposal that's the job that you want to take because the other one might talk big but they don't really follow through okay so Pisces have a wonderful rest of September I do sense that the worst of it is honestly it's over the worst of it is done you can only go uphill from now okay so the path you know we talk about path dependencies so it's actually really important what you do right now because you're starting a new phase in your life. So don't get sucked back into the past. Try to plan things out a little bit more because, you know, path dependencies means that um, you have like a fork in the road. And the, the further along one path, the less likely or the more difficult it becomes for you to backtrack and to take the other path. So be smart about this. You're in a new phase. You're starting over. You want to plan things out a little bit um, more systematically so that you don't have to backtrack, okay? Don't waste time backtracking. By having like a solid game plan from the get-go, then you can save yourself a lot of time, a lot of emotional anguish, a lot of pain, disappointment, and things like that, a lot of tears. Just um, plan things out a little bit better for this next phase in your life because honestly, I do feel that the the worst of it is over, okay? So move forward. I wish you the very best and good luck to you.